Should you wear sunscreen around your eyes? If you want to know the answer to that question, keep watching. everyone, I am Dr. Rupa Wong, board certified ophthalmologist. And on this channel, we talk about eye health, eye surgery, and eye makeup health. So today we're combining two of them, eye health and eye makeup health. I was watching my sister-in-law who was visiting from California, and yes, it is year-round summer here in Hawaii, and she was carefully applying sunscreen on her son. And what she was doing was a nice thick white layer, which we love, right? And it looked just like this. There was no sunscreen around the eyes. And I asked her, you're not gonna put anything near his eyes? Oh no, I don't want it to drip into his eyes. It causes a lot of stinging and he gets really upset. And that is something I have heard from so many people, whether it's regards to themselves or their kids. So then most people just avoid putting on sunscreen anywhere near the eyes because of that drippy, stingy feeling. And I know I've been there. I remember going snorkeling one year and just all this terrible, terrible stinging from the chemical sunscreen dripping into my eyes. But here's the thing, you really need to put sunscreen on your eyelids. First of all, it is the thinnest skin in your body. And as such, it's actually really common to get all different types of skin cancers along the eyelid area, especially top or bottom lid. You can get squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, and even malignant melanoma. So three different types of cancers that we see a lot of in my practice, especially just because we're out here in Hawaii, it's so common. I always recommend mineral formulas. Mineral formulas are going to be things with zinc or titanium dioxide. Also now in Hawaii, we have reef safe sunscreens. You actually can't even purchase chemical sunscreens anymore here to keep our reefs protected and safe. So basically anything that you can buy here in Hawaii is going to be pretty good for around your eyelid area. And the reason that I like mineral sunscreens is they don't migrate. The chemical sunscreens are the ones that can drip with sweat or even the salt water if you're swimming, and it's a lot easier to get it in the eyes. Now, of course, that is not the goal to get sunscreen in your eyes. There's other ways to protect the eyeballs themselves. So the chemical ingredients that you want to avoid are things like oxybenzone, avabenzone, and octanoxate. These are the things that are going to sting the eyes. So go with a mineral sunscreen. That skin is not just thin, but it's so delicate. So it's going to be better to use something that doesn't have a ton of chemicals in it. The other thing that I like is the stick sunscreens. And again, because the stick sunscreens tend to be a little bit stickier, they're harder to spread, which makes them a little bit more annoying on the rest of your body, but makes them ideal for the upper and lower lids. So that way they just stay put where you're putting them and don't migrate into the eye. Now there are a lot of like tinted mineral powders and creams and concealers. I don't personally love these because usually when you're using any kind of tinted moisturizer, you're really not applying enough to get the SPF that it says on the bottle. And they've done studies and they found when people are using a moisturizer with sunscreen, they apply 17% less than when they actually do it with just sunscreen alone. So I don't really opt for those type of varieties. And I'm gonna tell you my four favorites. But before I do, do you actually even need to buy a separate eye sunscreen? Well, not necessarily. As I mentioned here in Hawaii, you can only buy mineral sunscreens. So that's going to be good for your eyelid skin too. But if you have really sensitive skin or sensitive eyes, you might wanna opt for something that's specially formulated for the eye area, just so that it's got things that are going to soothe the eyes as well. So my personal fave is SkinCeuticals Physical UV Defense. It comes in an SPF 50 and it's tinted, which I love being of more melanin. Those really, really white sunscreens are not great for me, but I'm gonna use them if I need to. But this is a really nice option. It has physical blockers of titanium and zinc, as well as some ceramide. So that helps seal everything in. And I really just like the formulation because it's a little bit of tint, but it's still light enough. So it actually will help any dark under eye circles. So this is my number one favorite. One that I haven't actually tried, but it looks great on paper is the Super Goop 
Bright Eye 100% Mineral Eye Cream. It comes in an SPF 40. So just like the SkinCeutical, it has only mineral sunscreen, so no chemical sunscreens in it. And that's gonna be much less irritating for that really thin, delicate eyelid skin. The nice thing about this is that it does contain a little bit of caffeine, so as I've talked about before, caffeine is great at decreasing all the vascularity all the blood vessels that are underneath your eyes. So if you've got that kind of bluish tone or like a little bit of darkness, which might actually just be blood vessels, the caffeine can temporarily help that. So that makes it a nice option as well. Third is Elta MD's UV stick and SPF 50. I love Elta MD. That's the sunscreen I use every single day. It's to me, it's just my favorite. And we have a bunch of different variations for the kids for full body, but I use their facial sunscreen every day. They have a stick, it's new, it's a little bit sticky, but honestly, that is why I like it for the eye area, because if it's sticky and it's hard to actually rub in or spread out, that's good. You might get a little annoyed by that stickiness, but just know that that means it's not going to migrate into your eyes. It's gonna stick right where you put it. And then last is another one that I haven't tried personally. It's the DDI Radiance. It's by Derma Doctor. So it is similar to the others, a physical sunscreen. It's got zinc and titanium. It also has uh, a little bit of caffeine and some coconut oil just to keep things moisturized. So again, another one that I haven't tried, but I am planning on trying it out this summer. Now, what happens if you actually get sunscreen in your eyes? Don't panic, it is not a problem. It's not going to cause any damage to your eyes. Just flush it out with water. But honestly, the best thing to do is going to be to flush it out with some artificial tears. Water has a pH balance that is not quite the same pH as your tears, so it can make your eyes feel a little bit raw. But if you don't have anything else, use the water. That's going to help just get any kind of sunscreen out of your eyes. And then know that just sunscreen alone is not enough. Sunglasses and a hat, are also really key when you are outdoors and I wear them every day. So there you go. What type of sunscreen should you use around your eyes? Do you actually need it? Yes and yes, and my four favorites. If you like this video, please just take a moment to subscribe, like, comment, do all of those things so that I can keep this channel going and let me know if you have tried any of the four brands that I mentioned and which one's your fave. Until next time, I'm Dr. Rupa, it was good to see you.